On this week's episode, we have the co-founder and creative director of the clothing line, Paint Your Own Canvas, Alihan Beba. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that when you know your worth, you raise your standards. The reality is when you go through life with low standards, you never end up getting what you want. The vibration of lack and unconfidence sends a message to the universe to bring you more of what you expect. The irony is when you lower your standards, you end up with even less than you originally bargained for. When you are confident in yourself and what you bring to the table, you set your standards high and have positive expectations that they will be met, expecting nothing less. Successful people have high self-esteem and high standards, which is why they manifest great things in their life, because their feelings of worthiness energetically attracts their experience to match their belief through people, events, and opportunities. You are worthy and deserving of all the great things that the universe has to offer. Use this statement as your mantra every morning and watch the magic unfold. As Greg Anderson quotes, let us be about setting high standards for life, love, creativity, and wisdom. If our expectations in these areas are low, we're not likely to experience wellness. Setting high standards makes every day and every decade worth looking forward to. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, what does paint your own canvas mean to you? What does that title mean? So I, I see life as this blank canvas, which we or people my age put their dreams and goals onto them, which um, later we try to turn into our reality. So coming up with this name, I wanted to really emphasize the own as everyone has their own dream that they should go out to the world and try to achieve. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next on the show, we have the founder and creative director of Paint Your Own Canvas, Alihan Beba, a clothing store that offers casual, wearable art and aims to become the melting pot for fashion and art expressed through casual wear through gender-free sizing and unisex designs. Alihan, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to talk to you. I love your designs and we're going to get into that. So you started Paint Your Own Canvas at 18 years old. So let's talk about what was the inspiration behind creating your own brand? Um, so I've been painting and drawing most of my life ever since my first move uh, from Turkey to Hong Kong. And I've just kind of been you know, putting these off to the side, not really thinking like I was going to do much with them until one day my uh, mom surprised me with the scarf on she had on her neck with one of my designs of the turtle It's actually my profile picture and then uh, since seeing that um, I was I was like I got this idea and I wanted to transform this into something bigger and put it onto clothing as I have on right now and from there it kind of just took off and got to where it is today so very exciting. I love the designs. Actually, I have your bag right here amongst other things that I'm going to be sporting on my social media. <laughs> but what does paint your own canvas mean to you? What does that title mean? So I, I see life as this blank canvas, which we or people my age put their dreams and goals onto them, which um, later we try to turn into our reality. So Coming up with this name, I wanted to really emphasize the own as everyone has their own dream that they should go out to the world and try to achieve. And I really wanted because some people did, don't have the courage or the connections and abilities that I thankfully was able to have. And I really wanted to put that out there and help all these other people to really ha achieve their own dreams. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I feel like wearable art is so trendy right now. Um, I know you lived in Istanbul, Hong Kong, Dubai, New York, just to name a few. So how do you feel traveling has kind of inspired your designs? 
Yeah, so um, as you mentioned, I've lived in four cities and um, each of them being very different and having their own sort of um, culture that's separate to them. I was I gained all these new perspectives from each of the countries and I think they really helped me along my journey coming up with the patterns, colors, all these different textures and like um, the fabric even that I was able to use. They all kind of played in the role of me coming up with this idea so mm -hmm, absolutely and i want to ask you you know creating a brand is one thing but you know taking it to the market is another so what were some steps that you took to you know take this into the market and sell your your company and sell your brand okay so um it was first um seeing the designs and the colors which they would best fit onto the clothing and from there we we found a small team in turkey which uh we were working with at the time and they were the ones who actually um, in, made these in their own factory and then it was shipped over here where we sampled them and then had to send them back, change the colors. So it was a very long journey of sampling, uh, producing and finding the best fit uh, for the clothing and colors. Absolutely, and I know that you said that everybody can find a piece of themselves and feel empowered by wearing paint your own canvas. So tell us more about your company vision. Yeah, so my main vision is this call to action um, for uh, teenagers, mainly my age, because um, as I've mentioned, everyone um, has their own dream, but just not the courage to actually go out there and achieve it for themselves. So. I really wanted to emphasize, as I've said, the own in the canvas, um, as everyone has their own unique, specific goal that they want to achieve in this world. And I want them to really get out there and do their own thing and really be able to achieve what they want. Yeah. And walk us through some of the collections that you guys have right now. Um, so as this was made during the uh, midst of the COVID pandemic, we started off with um, like stay at home clothes first, like just comfortable, like hoodies, pants, shirts, and those types of things. But then as it sort of progressed into the summertime and the weather changed, we wanted to adapt to that as well. So we, uh, we came up with prop tops, um, shorts, and the yeah, and I know that you started the Beba Innovation and Entrepreneur Foundation. And I know that 5% of sales go toward this foundation. So let's talk about it and how you're helping other young people uh, make their dreams happen. Of course. So this foundation, as you might know, is actually my family foundation. It was created by my father. And um, as my thing is paint your own canvas, this call to action, I wanted to take it a step further and actually, instead of just telling people to get out there, I wanted to actually help them achieve it as well. So every sale that we make, 5% um, of our profits are um, going into that foundation and helping other children my age across the world, mainly in Turkey, as that's where it's based. Um, so helping them achieve their own goal. And you were saying that you've worked with your mom to you know, create this company. You guys are co-founders working together. So let's talk about how your mom helped you kind of create this vision. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, well, it was, as I was saying, it was mainly just my drawings. And then one day it was more of like a surprise. She just comes down with this scarf because she always wanted to do something with my drawings that I guess I never thought I could. I just never like looked at it that way. I was just drawn for the fun of it, doodling. But then she, um, ever since I saw that scarf, I, I really began to think like, wow, this could actually be something that, that could be turned into like a le legitimate business. And since that day, I guess it just um, picked up and all these ideas came into my head as how I could expand and um, put this onto the clothing company and achieve my own dreams that I've wanted as a kid. Yeah, very nice. And what kind of inspires your work? Because the designs are really beautiful and very colorful, which I love. I love abstract art. So what's kind of inspired you when creating these uh, designs? Um, so as you've mentioned, um, I've lived in the four different cities and countries. Um, and I've been able to pick up all these new experiences, seeing the worst of the worst and the best of the best as in like the social classes and seeing all these really opened my eyes up um, to the world and who I wanted to be, what I wanted to do. And I would I would account most of my inspiration to my experience as a foreigner 
Because without that, if I was just in one spot my whole life, I wouldn't be able to get all these different perspectives and put them into one little uh, company as I have now. So. Yeah, and I know that you mentioned Turkey a few times and that you really want to help people in Turkey and, and inspire them. So let's talk about uh, that. Okay, well, um, I actually also go to Turkey every summer too. And from from seeing Turkey and the country I'm in right now, there's this really big difference, right? Both economically and socially. Mm -hmm. And I just, um, it makes me like personally sad to see how all these kids in my country being like um, kind of shut down, I guess, um, because they don't have the advantages and connections that I'm able to have. And that kind of made me want it to um, go further. And instead of just being able to build this dream for myself, I wanted to also give back to my like original country and to all the children there that don't have these ab abilities as I do. Yeah, absolutely. And I commend you for doing that. I want to talk about, you know, I created this platform to inspire our audience and showcase that anything is possible and you essentially are helping people paint their own canvas. So let's talk about what are some challenges that you faced along your journey um, and how did you get through it? Of course, so um, building a business obviously isn't something that happens overnight, um, as you guys might know, but um, it was from, as I said, finding the designs that best fit the clothing and then getting them in the factory, printing them out. It all took days and months to just find like even the right fit for which like design could go into the shirt to make it look like the best manner. And then finding like which colors also fit best. Like this blue I have on right now, it was I think the second attempt that we had at the blue because the first one was like too dark or too light. And it was all these little challenges that kind of built along the way. But I would definitely say the biggest challenge we have is um, the fact that we produce in Turkey and sell in America. But mm -hmm. I also kind of um, like that idea as it it's for the fabric quality that we have invented in Turkey. It's just that we couldn't uh, find something along that quality um, in this part of the area. Mm -hmm. And maybe for someone that's you know going through failure, rejection in their careers right now, not seeing the results, what would you say to encourage them and inspire them? Well, I would definitely say to never give up. Um, that's one of the worst things you can definitely do. Um, just keep going no matter how many difficulties you face, how many challenges you guys have, you're always gonna find something to stumble over, something that's gonna throw you off. But at the end, if you keep pushing and stay consistent, as I did, um, hopefully. Um, you guys can see that at the end it was all worth it. And no matter how many challenges there was, it, it all pays off towards the end when you see that you've actually achieved your dream and was able to create something out of it. Yeah, absolutely. You know what, failure is a part of life. And you know, I always tell my viewers, failure is a part of life. And if you don't fail, you're not going to be, you're not, success is not going to feel as sweet, right? You have to feel yeah, what so. failure feels like to really enjoy success. So <laughs> it's a part of you along the journey. I would put it that way. Yeah, absolutely. So without that, you're, you're not the same person you would be. You know, you don't have that experience of the failures that you experienced. Yeah, and I personally feel that Failure makes you more confident because once you get through it, you're confident in your abilities and you know what, that you're able to create and keep going. So I love yeah. that. <laughs> and for our viewers that want to purchase Paint Your Own Canvas products, where can they do so? Of course. So we you, we have an Instagram and Facebook site just called uh, PY Own Canvas. Um, and the main source is the website that we have, which is just www.pyocanvas.com. Um, which where you guys can buy the products, but you can also learn more about my backstory as there's an autobiography on one of the pages. Oh, very nice. Alihan, thank you so much for being on the show today. You're an inspiration. You're doing this at such a young age and I commend you. Keep going. I love your designs and you know, I did see on your website your picture and I read your story and I was showing my niece and nephew who are um, who's 11 and 8 years old. I'm like, you know what? You guys can create your own company. He's living proof. So you're inspiring other people to follow their dreams. So keep doing thank what you're you doing. So
Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure being on here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly higher than